Hypoxia is linked to the development of many pathological conditions and disrupts the function of all the vital organs and biological processes. The lack of oxygen in the alveoli of the lungs, the disruption of its blood transfer or tissue distribution can lead to an energy deficit in the cells, individual organs or throughout the whole body. This is linked to the disruption of the function of the mitochondria. Under low oxygen conditions or during the impaired utilization of oxygen on the inner mitochondrial membranes, the oxidative phosphorylation processes and the synthesis of ATP are inhibited. The reduction in ATP concentration diverts glycolysis from the acetyl coenzyme A synthesis to the synthesis of lactate. As a result, the citric acid cycle is inhibited and lactate acidosis develops. Membrane channels also cease functioning. The concentration of calcium increases. Phospholipases are activated and more free radicals are produced. The introduction of succinate activates the citric acid cycle and the electron transfer chain. Succinate is a substrate of succinate dehydrogenase that is a part of both biochemical cascades. The activation of succinate dehydrogenase helps normalize the concentration of ATP and lactate in the cells and decrease glucose levels in the blood. Besides the metabolic, succinate also has a receptor function. Succinate receptors are activated in white adipose tissue, multiple inner organs, neurons and immune cells. Succinate triggers mechanisms of adaption to hypoxia and inhibits lipolysis by limiting the movement of fatty acids in the blood. It's a 1.5% balanced solution of sodium succinate and electrolytes. The osmotic concentration of the solution is equal to the physiological osmotic concentration. Its content includes megumin to facilitate the introduction of succinate. One of the effects of reactivity is a reduction in the severity of metabolic acidosis, shown by the blood acid base indicators and alkalization of urine. In multiple organ failure, the solution reduces lactate acidosis, hyperglycemia, and resumes the function of the internal organs. Reambrin has notable detoxification properties. It reduces the cardiotoxicity of several chemotherapy regimes. It is effective in reversing cerebral failure, induced by neuro, hepato, or nephrotropic poisons. The drug shortens the duration of coma in coma patients. According to a meta-analysis, the use of reambrin as part of a medical regime for severe pathological processes associated with hypoxia, intoxication, and the failure of autonomic functions makes the chance of a positive clinical outcome at least twice as likely. Reambrin is widely used in clinical treatment of critical conditions, has a wide safety range, low toxicity, and can make a decisive contribution to saving the lives of patients.